Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a brand new brand to test. I received this big box of makeup yesterday and it is from a new brand called XX Revolution. It is a sister brand to Revolution. At this point, I feel like the slogan for Revolution should be DJ Khaled saying another one because we have another one. <laughs> so the idea behind this brand is Skin X Makeup. So the makeup is infused with skincare. So they did send over this little thing about about what products they offer and everything. So I'm just gonna read it out to you quickly. XX is ingredient first, from products with added skincare benefits to fresh formulas with endless choice of finish and texture. With XX, your skin is front and center. XX is fresh and fluid with impactful formulas and exciting textures, whatever the shade, next generation beauty for Gen Now. In creating this product lineup, our aim was to create prestige products at an affordable price that focus on skin X makeup. Launches on Wednesday the 3rd of June with a collection of 250 50 SKUs, which I think is products, priced between £5 and £28, cruelty free and mostly vegan, exclusive to revolutionbeauty.com, boots.com and coming soon to Altar and Douglas.eu. So yeah guys, this brand doesn't launch until the 3rd of June, so I guess I have these products really, really early, but I thought I would get this video out for you guys and then closer to the time of the launch, I'll do an update video. So just so you know, this video is not sponsored, but the products were gifted to me. So let's just go ahead and jump into it because I unboxed a few things on my stories yesterday and guys the packaging is like next level we have frosted glass we have chrome packaging we have fake water droplets oh, oh we'll get to it So first things first, we're gonna start with primer slash moisturizers. So we have this one here, which is called the Hydra Quench Bomb. It has 70% water and aloe vera. This is for thirsty skin, amazing fresh gel, helps restore skin with its water blast experience, high concentration of aloe vera. First of all, this is like some duochrome, reflective, really nice packaging, like just the box. But the actual packaging of the product on the inside, I don't know if you can see like the fake water droplets. This feels really, really nice. Has frosted glass, feels nice and weighty. It feels very luxe. I don't have the price of everything, but I am gonna try to tell you guys the prices that I do have here. So the Hydra Quench Bomb is 15 pounds, $20 or 18 euros. So this brand is more expensive than Revolution's usual products, but I feel like you can definitely feel the quality in the packaging so far. And I'm thinking because it is infused with skincare, you are kind of paying for the skincare ingredients in it as well. So this is like a jelly texture. So I'm just gonna apply it as a moisturizer because I haven't moisturized my face yet. I really do like gel moisturizers on my skin because I do have oily skin so it gives me the moisture without being heavy and thick. Yeah this is already soaking in really nicely. It does have a smell. It smells just like aloe vera actually. There's also this one which is the H2O Glow Bomb. This also has 70% water and aloe vera but this one has little sparkles in it so I'm not sure how it's going to apply to the face. Exact same packaging with the frosted glass and the wet water droplets. Can you see the little micro glitters in there? So I'm just scooping some of that onto the back of my hand. I want to see if the glitter comes across on the skin. Mm, this one's not for me. I mean, I don't really know anyone that wants blue glitter sparkles on their face, but if you do, then I suppose go for this one. But me personally, I like the other one. Now we also have this one here, which is called the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer. They say it's sorbet-like water gel with a smooth, soft texture, improves the appearance of skin by minimizing pores and brightening the complexion. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime with this. Oh, this feels weird. This feels like a little candy floss. I don't know how to explain it, guys. It feels, I don't know, different. I haven't felt something like that. So primer is something I would need to test over a long period of time for me to get my final thoughts on it. But so far, it feels really nice on the skin. Okay, so for base products, there's actually two foundations in this line. This is the Glow Sticks Foundation, Luminous Foundation. This is what it looks like. So I have the shade 13.5, but they do have loads of shades. I'm not sure how many shades they carry carry all together but it seems like these are the same shades that they carry in their normal revolution you know conceal and define line so the glow skin foundation says it's lightweight buildable skin true foundation medium to full coverage illuminating pearlescent particles for a glowing skin finish infused with hyaluronic acid to hydrate skin if you've been to my channel before you would know like luminous glowy foundations are really not my thing so i'm glad that they came out with another foundation i don't know the finish of this one because it's not called like matte or anything it's called the liquid skin foundation 
Foundation Double Fix Foundation. And this one says it's silk finish, long wear, liquid skin foundation, full coverage for a flawless complexion, infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin. So they both sound kind of hydrating, but this one sounds like possibly it has double coverage because this one says full, the other one said medium to full. I'm gonna go with this one and this one comes with frosted glass once again, but the lid is like this kind of dark, I don't know what you would call this, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna start with a pump on each side just because it claims to have full coverage. And I'd rather start with less and build up more if I need it than taking too much. So I'm just gonna spread that out looks to be a good color it is a little bit dark but i prefer a little bit dark so i can brighten up with concealer let me take a little bit no the foundation i can't smell uh like a particular smell to it and it's blending out really nice really full coverage when the brush runs past my nose i do smell a little something but i've got the foundation on my finger and i can't smell anything so i mean nah this foundation coverage is insane it just melts into my skin like look at this guys it's like my skin but better it has this almost kind of demi matte finish it's not fully matte but it's not super glowy and luminous still has a little bit of glow a little bit of skin like radiance to it but nothing overpowering overpowering to be honest i'm most impressed with the coverage like even those two pumps and i took some of it off so one and a half kind of pumps more than enough to do my whole face and covered everything flawlessly like look at this they also have a concealer to go along with the foundation and this is called the conceal super fix concealer this is what it looks like and then this is the packaging that it comes in frosted glass once again and then with the uh dark packaging it is quite a big concealer you get 13.5 milliliters in here so a lot of product in here not quite sure on the price it doesn't say on this little leaflet that i have but if the foundation's 15 i'm assuming this is 10 12 so this is what the the doe foot looks like it's an interesting shaped doe foot I don't believe I have a doe foot that's like this. You have this flat side and then it kind of curves. Um, yeah, very unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this concealer. Ooh, this doe foot is nice. It just spreads the product really nicely underneath the eyes because it has that flat side and it just applies the product really good. Nice. This foundation is drying down the more I look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer. Oh, I should have done my eyeshadow first. I never do concealer before eyeshadow. What's going on, guys? Okay, gonna blend out the bit underneath my eyes. Okay, so it's blending out really nice. It does feel like it is drying down slightly. So I'm gonna work quickly with it, but that coverage is perfect. That coverage is really high. And I only used a small amount. I literally took one dip. I didn't re-dip, so this is one dip into the concealer and it is covering beautifully definitely feels like it's drying down matte though which i love but if you don't like matte concealers i do feel like this one is matte maybe it's because it's on top of a matte foundation that's why it's looking like that maybe if you use this concealer on top of their luminous foundation you would get a different finish but to me this is definitely looking very like demi matte really nice exactly what i want and what i like so i can't complain at all this base honey is looking real real good but before i set it i am gonna do eyeshadow just in case I get a little bit of fallout I can always touch up with concealer and stuff so for eyeshadow I got something really exciting from this line they have the duochrome eyeshadow which is actually a liquid eyeshadow so this is the shade stimulate and it's like a duochrome bluish purple type of color so it goes on like a liquid and then it dries down matte so I'm going to use this today but they also have duochrome pigment pot this is the shade ignite they did also send over this humongous palette this is called the explosion shadow palette and it is so big it actually comes with 66 shades in here and then these are the shades on the inside mm, to be honest it's a very neutral palette I don't feel like I need this whole top section up here if the palette was just this down here I could deal with it but it's such a big palette I don't know if it's my favorite palette I want to see what else the brand comes out with I, mm, I'm not loving it but we'll see how it applies on the eyes I mean I do love me a big palette but when I like big palettes I like variety I want to be able to to get tons of different you know looks dark smoky looks dark colorful looks this is just all very neutral and all very like samey i think i'm gonna go into the only colorful shade in this palette this one lonely blue down here trust me to find the only colorful shade in this palette and use it 
Look how good my face looks, guys. Ooh, this shadow is really nice. Really nice and pigmented. It's gorgeous, like tealy color as well. Tealy green, dark bluish. Mm. And then into the crease, I think I'm gonna go in with this purpley shade here. Keeping it low, cause I'm gonna blend them both out with something else. To blend the blue out, I'm gonna go into a little dab of this color here and just diffuse that on the edge of the blue. Just cause you don't wanna use something too orangey cause orange and blue is just gonna make a disaster. Nice, nice. A Little bit more cool tone than what I usually go for. Okay, is that me? <laughs> and I think I'm gonna blend out that purple with something a little bit warmer. I'm thinking maybe this shade here. So far, these shadows are an absolute dream to work with like they're just blending out into each other beautifully i think it's so funny how it's an overwhelmingly neutral palette and i still managed to come out with a look like this and i think that's all i'm gonna do for my matte crease colors how gorgeous a dream to work with honestly amazing so now we're gonna go in with the liquid shadow um these do come with like a doe foot applicator so we should just be able to paint it straight on it's really kind of tiny though i wish it was a little bit bigger just to make ease of use a bit easier. You can kind of do a cut crease with it, I suppose. Don't know if I need to shake it, but it is looking very oily on the lids. I mean, first impressions, it's not my favorite. So what I'm gonna do before it dries is actually top it with the pigment that I have. On the eyes, I feel like I prefer the effect of the pigment over the liquid eyeshadow. We're gonna try again, okay? Because I had high hopes for you, little liquid eyeshadow thing. Yeah, it's still doing the same thing. I feel like I've shaked it more than enough now. It just looks too, there's not enough color. It just looks like a gloss. Okay, so here we have the final look with the eyeshadows. I'm gonna go ahead and find a glitter to put in the crease just to kind of separate the dark colors from the, you know, I just feel like I need something there sparkling. So I just went ahead and took this LA Splash Luminous liner in the shade potion it's just this kind of glitter liner right through the crease just to add some definition right there love how it looks now very dark and grungy don't worry it'll come together once we have the rest of my face on I'm also going to go in with a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes just because I did get a little bit of fallout with those dark uh, pigment shades okay so I can already tell the way this foundation and concealer dry down if you have dry skin you won't need to set it but if you have combination skin you won't need to set majority of your face if like the outside of your face is kind of normal or dry don't set it just kind of set your t-zone oily areas because they definitely dry down and give like a matte appearance to the skin but you know me and my oily skin i'm gonna go ahead and set my face just so it lasts all day and that has set beautifully it looks so flawless on my face so now we're moving on to cheeks they do have this dimension complexion palette i believe this is the darkest shade they do also have they come with four yeah there's four complexion palettes and they retail for 18 pounds which is quite a lot for free face palettes but the packaging is really cute it is this kind of duochrome holographic iridescent I don't know what you call it like pink and it has this kind of ASMR <laughs> it doesn't feel like cheap or anything it does also come with a mirror and these are the colors on the inside so you get a blush a highlight type of color and then the bronzer this is quite a dark palette for me like this wouldn't be a highlighter on me and this is way too dark for a bronzer but I'm assuming maybe the one before might work for me I'm not too sure because I haven't seen them at all but of course we're still going to try it I'm going to dip into the bronzer first I don't know how pigmented this is I'm going to take a small amount and just bronze yeah, that is quite deep. You can see that there. Yeah, I need the smallest amount of this because it is so dark for my skin tone. I mean, I can make it work, but I feel like if you have darker skin than me, this would be perfect for you. It's just not 100% right for me, but it still looks gorgeous nonetheless. It's giving me a bit of chisel, a bit of darkness on the outer perimeter of my face. So I can't complain, it works. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try the blusher, which looks to be like a luminous type of, oh my gosh that picks up a lot of product on the brush yeah that picks up a lot on the brush it's very pigmented like that's just one dip and it's just tons of product gorgeous color though very vibrant pink and it does have a slight sheen to it i'm not mad at that but i would just say be very careful with these products because it is very pigmented you could easily just you know put too much i don't really highlight too often but i am going to take that middle shade and kind of use it as a blush topper I'm just gonna dust it on top of my blush. Definitely giving me a glow right there. Oh yeah, I forgot I have these highlighters as well. We can add a little bit more, I'm sure, because the highlighters, guys, I unboxed this yesterday. They look insane. So they have a similar packaging to the face palette with the type of, you know, 
know I don't know what this is called but this and this is what it looks like on the inside so you get a mirror but also look at the product guys so metallic and reflective and it just looks gorgeous this is the shade frequency I think I'm gonna go with this one I'm just gonna take it on that same big brush and just kind of dust it onto my oh ooh, wow very glittery it looks gorgeous on the skin but it definitely is glittery it's glitter in a pressed format i don't know if that makes sense it does look wet on the skin but it also looks like glitter when you get up close if you're into like a wet looking glittery highlight this could be fun i mean this could be fun but it's not really my style of highlight i think we're nearly done guys i just have a fixing spray to use and also a lip gloss so we're gonna go ahead and do the fixing spray first so they say it's a really rejuvenating fixing mist for natural radiant skin nourishes skin while holding makeup in place enhanced with skin loving ingredients antioxidants avocado and coconut extract and this is what the bottle looks like super iridescent and glowy really cute bottle oh really nice mist as well nice and lightweight i'm not gonna do too much because i don't want to be too glowy since this is like a radiant spray mm, smells just like coconuts that reminds me of the mark jacobs coconut spray that smells exactly like it really nice spray actually i feel like if you like a glowy look to your skin you will really enjoy that spray i don't actually have any lip products from this brand only a lip uh, gloss so i'm going to test that but first i want a little bit of definition to my lips so this is called the Extra Glow Strobe Lip Gloss in the shade Strike. They do have a few shades. Uh, they are eight pounds. And this color is like a white crystal gloss. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Oh, it smells really nice, nice and sweet. It has little like sparkles in it, really nice. It's actually reminding me of the Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Milk Gloss. Mm, and you can't feel the glitters in the lip gloss as well, which is nice. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. It looks gorgeous, nice and sparkly and glossy. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or sticky. Feels really nice on the lips. I probably would prefer it over a lip, like a nude lipstick. Oh guys, I nearly forgot. I have this gel eyeliner pencil in the shade Coal. It looks like this. Oh wow. this is a weighty pencil and it has really cool like metallic design so i'm gonna go ahead and put this into my waterline i mean it's not the blackest liner i've ever like applied to my waterline it's not the like most pigmented but it's doing the job by the way i'm looking at the leaflet and they do have different types of setting mist they retail for 10 pounds and it looks like they have five different ones so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do my lash line with the same purple and coral colors that i used for my inner corner i'm gonna go into this gorgeous kind of pinky purpley shimmer right here Ooh, that's a nice color really nice shimmers in here okay guys so that is actually all of the products i'm gonna go ahead and throw some lashes on and i'll come back to you with the final look and my final thoughts okay guys my back so here we have the final look what do you think i really love this eye look i feel like it's nice and grungy i'm actually really excited for this brand not only is the packaging like super luxe and really nice feeling the products inside are actually really good products as well like products i can see incorporated into my everyday makeup routine so i'm gonna go ahead and start with my my standout products that definitely stood out to me today this is of course my first impressions but i will continue to use these over the month and then hopefully before the brand launches i can go ahead and do a update video for you guys about you know my updated thoughts and feelings now that i've had the products for a while so first of all we have this little gel moisturizer type of thing called hydra quenched oh i just read on the back it says it's a primer okay if you have oily skin and you like something lightweight to just soak into the face but also hydrate i feel like this was amazing it felt really nice on the skin soaked in nicely to my face didn't make like a heavy thick layer really nice uh this also says it's made in italy so okay revolution the foundation and the concealer standout products to me i feel like this is right up my street in terms of what i look for in base products full coverage matte but without being cakey and heavy on the face honestly it feels so lightweight on my face but the amount of coverage and how flawless it looks i am really really impressed with it not to mention that i really like the luxe feel of the actual packaging something about frosted glass just feels really like high end i don't know but so far this formula is right up my street i really pray that it's long lasting because first impressions i'm really really impressed with both of them i will also test the luminous foundation in another video just for my dry skin girlies 
out there that want to know the coverage of this I will go ahead and use this as well probably won't be the finish for me but we'll test the coverage and you know see how it goes so those are the products that stood out to me and can definitely be incorporated into my everyday makeup routine now let's move on to the products that I thought were okay I mean they're not outstanding in my opinion but they're definitely good products and like if you did buy them you wouldn't be disappointed if you know what I mean first of all the palette I love big palettes because I love to be able to choose my own look I like the variety of a big palette but this just feels a bit unnecessary just because there are so many neutral shades in here it just feels like a very unnecessarily big palette you know what I mean so it's not my top product but it definitely performed well I mean the shadows blended really well they're pigmented good quality eyeshadows I just don't think 66 shades is necessary that's just my opinion the eyeshadow pigment was really nice on the eyes but I do have pigments in my collection that are more reflective more foiled more duochrome so although it is a nice pigment I do have amazing pigments in my collection if that makes sense the quality of the face palette is great the packaging of the face palette is amazing I mean if the shades work for you great it is a good product but for me like I said I feel like the shades are just a little bit too dark for me which is why it's not in my outstanding products but it is a good product the products are pigmented in here I love how they perform it's just not the right shades for me which is why it's in the okay packaging not packaging what okay category same with the highlighter love the compact of this love how it actually looks but it is very glittery it is a wet looking glitter on your skin which if you like it could be interesting but I feel like in real life it does come across as glitter on the face but in pictures maybe for photo shoots and stuff like that it could look really gorgeous but in real life it does look a bit glittery so yeah as for the lip gloss and setting spray I think they're good products I would definitely use them again so that's it guys those are my first impressions on the XX Revolution line what do you think what products stood out to you let me know all of that good stuff down in the comment section below are you excited for this launch are you not so excited let me know what you think about luxury feeling and look in packaging at an affordable price of course affordable means different things to different people a 15 pound foundation might not be affordable to some but it might be affordable to others so please take that with a pinch of salt but I definitely feel like the products feel like they're worth their money do you know what I mean it's not like they're charging 15 pounds for a foundation and giving you plastic cardboard packaging the packaging does feel very luxe it does feel like something you would get from high-end you know brands so if you did enjoy this video please go ahead give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my update video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.